probably the lowest class, you know, food you can get. <laughs> but I went to McDonald's super late at night and I was like, you know what? Let's try these $8 fish and chips. Yes. Okay. And they I'm give so you, excited. They give you two pieces of fish that are about this big. It's like fish nuggets. Right. It's basically what they did was they took a... Uh, uh, a fish fillet, yeah. and they cut it in half almost, yeah. and they fried it, right. and that's your eight dollar fish. Not bad though, because See, fish fillets are good. That's, a, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. And Is it the some... best choice for sahur? No. Uh, probably not. No, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> but they, they have a decent tartar sauce. I will say. Yeah. 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 I will say. I don't know what your opinion would be of something like that. As you know. <laughs> as a uh, chef. Well, it depends. Like uh, with the pregnancy and cravings. Uh, I, I can't expect anything. Oh. I, I went one time a uh, month ago. Mm -hmm. I made Ahmed go get me fries from McDonald's at 2 a.m. Wow. And, and were you specific soda. about McDonald's? Like, yeah, hey, like me. this over there. <laughs> That's what it is. You come back with Burger King. I'm sending you back out. Yeah. And and the and the Coke came back without soda. The machine wasn't. The working, machine wasn't so, working. That yeah. man needs to go to the next McDonald's, which is only one light away, I'm sure. Yeah, so he had to go down again. Nice. And, oh, yeah. man, she's yeah. running a tight ship over here. MashaAllah. Hey, He's when like, a craving is a craving. Not happy. The craving yeah. is a craving. Yeah. I mean, but see, fries is not that... I mean, I, th I feel like you could be not pregnant and have that craving at 2 o'clock in the morning. Is there anything right. weird? But your husband's not going to go get it for you. No, yes. that's yeah. true. That's true. It's a problem. Yeah. Your made-up husband. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Amit from Uber Eats will go get it yeah, for me, though. Yeah, Uber Eats will do well, it. Well, I think because we live in downtown and things are closed and open so yeah but I, I don't think it would be the same if we're so he was going to the far. mcdonald's on, was he going to the mcdonald's on spadina the basically street. no just at the uh, young street oh okay so okay across the street not too bad you know? yeah there's a couple on young street i'm a fair person by the good it's nice of you just to <laughs> yeah. be considerate of that <laughs> jeez mashallah mashallah right. my wife uh we're not expecting my uh, brother-in-law is expecting next month oh, well mashallah. really my sister-in-law my first brother. Yeah, first it's exciting. exciting. It's so exciting right now. <laughs> Are you feel really? You're feeling that excitement? I'm feeling mad excited. I <laughs> yeah. feel so excited right now. Oh, uh, what about you guys? Uh, our second. Oh my! We Allah. have Yahya. He's all, He's gonna be three when. Uh, the baby comes. We oh. know the gender, but I'm going to do a surprise on yeah. Instagram. Right, right, right. They didn't tell us. My brother and his wife, Zainab, they know, but they aren't telling us. We told our family because we didn't. Yeah, uh, of course. Like we, normal we did people. Our, <laughs> some people don't want to know themselves. So basically what we wanted to do is uh, ask the party? ultrasound to put... Uh, uh, to put the gender in an envelope and mm -hmm. then we would open it later oh, uh we did that but we did the balloon my friend did it and right and she knew we didn't me and ahmed and we popped a balloon and we knew them. oh that's exciting yeah. i like those yeah i like a creative thing like that yeah because yeah. we didn't do that with, with the ahe so we we're mm -hmm. like you know i don't think it was a thing i think it was I, it yeah. seems like a very very recent it just came up in like the, last the reveal yeah. party <laughs> like the last two years of do social the media cravings possibly change from like first kid to second kid in your opinion uh you know, it's not about the craving. It's just like you wanting normal food, but it's the the intensity of you wanting it. Oh. Like I I I do want Chinese now, or I do want butter chicken. Or... Well, you let me know, uh, and that's how I'll make up for being ten minutes late if something happens in the middle of the podcast, and you're like, I need Szechuan sauce now. <laughs> I'll just run out and get yeah. some. Uh, no, speaking about your younger kid, that I was watching a couple of the clips online YouTube uh, for Master Chef, mm -hmm. and you were saying that part of the your end run was that you were missing him so much yeah right um and you know so how how intense was that because like oh. you know i'm watching the show and i'm watching only three minute clips and i'm getting stressed out stressed out <laughs> yeah and trust me the what you see uh on tv is only 0.1 percent of how intense it is mm -hmm. like the first episode people were falling and <laughs> on the floor running wow. like i was running with the rice in the water mm -hmm. and, and uh, i spilled some water and another girl was running back and she slipped in the water okay Whoa. i feel so guilty but yeah and uh, hey, you gotta meet her you gotta win you gotta win, you gotta win by any means necessary <laughs> so it, it wasn't intentional though but yeah <laughs> Uh, Next time she's just spilling grease everywhere. She's like, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, the thing is, uh, I went into MasterChef not knowing that I had postpartum depression and anxiety. Oh, wow. Okay. And I came out realizing that I do. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, kind of uh, a wake-up call for me to right. do something about it. Because it's been two years. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything about it. Mm -hmm. It's affecting my life. And... Only Ahmed was in the loop of knowing what's happening. Right. Yeah. So um, after Master Chef, I 
I admit it to myself, like, I think I need help. Mm -hmm. And it's, so, yeah. Yeah, no, in that case, it's almost something like this is useful, right? It brings, exactly. it brought something up and then after, and I mean, we're very big proponents what's of What's help look like in, in that situation? Like, uh, what would somebody have to seek out in your opinion, you know, if they might be struggling with something like themselves or think they might be? I think the first step is 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 admitting it to yourself and uh, and your partner or someone close to you trust and and seeking help. You, you, we have to seek professional help because mm -hmm. it's not gonna go away by dua or prayer. Yeah, prayers and duas are amazing, but it's like when you have something physical in your mm -hmm. body happening, you can just pray it's gonna go away by itself. You have to go to the doctor and get it treated. So it's the same thing when it comes to mental health. Uh, what people don't realize is it's actually something physical too. It's it's chemical in your yeah. brain's not mm -hmm. functioning mm -hmm. as well. And if we had the means to do a CD scan, or not CD, but there are some tests that they can figure out how your brain changed mm -hmm. you can f you can see that but no one does that and uh it's a kind of a taboo topic that no one wants to talk about because right. you think if you have a mental illness and you're seeking therapy that you're crazy mm -hmm. or you're not normal or you're not successful and people just prefer to you know just go about their day and yeah. just ignore it pain in a way and i mean for yasin and i this has been a, a reoccurring topic both of us have, have gone through therapy for different things yeah. and we felt the same way we're just like i mean i guess i shouldn't like it felt like if i need help then there's something wrong with me and i shouldn't ask for help mm -hmm. exactly. and then eventually you realize that no this is the only way i'm gonna get better is by asking for help and helping somebody somebody's gonna have to help me guide through this and it's still gonna be me doing the heavy lifting and in your case you but it's not wrong to ask for help or seek help or something like that. It's really brave of you. Yeah. And for you, realizing that while you're on MasterChef yeah. is a, that's a, that's not a, a path everybody has, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think it's the, ser it's, it's kind of a therapy uh, session there because mm -hmm. uh, you're isolated completely from the outside. Right. Uh, they take your phones away. Oh, wow. You can have internet access. You can see your family. Mm -hmm. So imagine me being with the Yahya for a year and a half, just me and him. Mm -hmm. Like I, I forgot my English. Literally, right. I was just talking baby, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it's like out of nowhere, like yeah, yeah, he's not there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was kind of like shocking for me. And we have uh, uh, only one call per week to check Sounds on like our family. Prison. <laughs> yeah, I think you get a call a that, day in prison, <laughs> and, and that's why we're so emotional in the right. show. Like you, you, you see, like the first episode, and people are crying mm -hmm. for someone getting on. You're like, why is she crying? Like mm -hmm. they just, it's just the first episode, but yeah. it's it, yes, it's a week, but it's a week of this is your life. Right. So you for know? somebody who doesn't know uh, Master Chef or hasn't seen a bunch of episodes, mm -hmm. maybe both of you can help kind of uh, set that up. I have, I've only seen a couple, but like I, I most people haven't. So like, mm -hmm. what's the show about? Like, what's their what did they try to do? So basically, uh, it's 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 for uh, immature home cooks, okay, uh, who have a love or a talent for food. Oh, okay. And uh, you don't you you can't be professional. That's actually one of the rules. Mm. Like you have to be just a home cook, mm -hmm. not just, but you know, a you home know. cook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, and you go there and uh, you learn. You learn oh. from your. Your mistakes, you learn from the, the the things they throw at you, the mystery box and whatever, and uh, and it goes like every episode, uh, someone goes out. Oh, I see. Sometimes two people go out. Oh. Uh, sometimes they call people back to to join. Uh, so out of like twenty three or twenty one people from all across Canada, mm -hmm. they choose twenty one people. And in, in our season, there it was twenty one. And the 21 people are cut into half almost in the first wow. episode. It's brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then comes top 12 or top 10, depends on how many they have at the beginning. And from there you go with different challenges. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each episode, there is either elimination challenge or pressure test. And then wow. someone goes away until the finale. You've got two people left in. That's crazy. It's like the Survivor winner gets $100,000. $100,000. Yeah, $100, $100, $100, incredible. I was like, so, what's going to make somebody put themselves through this? I'm like, $100,000 will yeah, be it. Yeah, sounds about right. That sounds about <laughs> and the right. experience. It's, it's yeah. amazing. Like, honestly, it's an amazing experience. And, and all this happens it? over a week? No, no, no. Uh, uh, I was there for almost a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. But we were talking, the week was the, the top 10. That's what mm. we were oh, talking man. about. Yeah. So as an engineer, myself, mm -hmm. as, as, what sparked... Yeah, I almost forgot that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what sparked 
you going from, you know, I, I forgot which engineer you majored in. Biomedical. Biomedical, right? Mm -hmm. The awesome one. <clears throat> yeah. <true. laughs> and then figured, then figured, you know what? I think I want to cook. Mm -hmm. And then going, let's go through the pressure cooker of like a reality show yeah. as opposed to just, let me just follow some YouTube videos and learn how to cook. Like what, what sparked that for you? Uh, so... Basically, I, I didn't want to be an engineer. I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very ambitious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let, let's be a biomedical engineer and then apply to med school and be a doctor. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but, you know, it didn't happen. By, <laughs> by the last year of engineering, I was like, done. Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. I'm, I'm out of here. Right. Uh, software gave me a really hard time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hated software too. Oh, my Coding God. Coding can go die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Yeah, I, I, w I wasn't a big fan. And then... Um, I graduated and everything available at the time for me to start working was software related. And at that time I realized, oh my God, I, I, I don't think I want to spend another five years of my life doing software. And it's the thing that gave me anxiety and depression in engineering. <laughs> right. And, and, and why, why would I do that for the rest of my life? Mm. Everyone's like, yeah, take courses and that's what, what they want in the field. So I'm like, no, it's biomedical engineering, not software. And if I wanted to do software, I would have gone to software engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm like, you know, I either work as a biomedical engineering or I don't, and obviously I didn't. <laughs> I couldn't find anything biomedical uh, related because uh, you had to do masters, and I, I was like, I don't want to study anymore. Right. And I got married right after I graduated, and then uh, in the middle of my job search, I also got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And by the time I found the job that I wanted, it was radiation, mm -hmm. and I was pregnant, and I was like, oh. Well, probably not the best wait thing. for me <laughs> but yeah and and that was the only opportunity i got from from there and i f i think it's me kind of feeling uh being you know given up on from engineering like mm -hmm. engineering gave up on me so i'm like i'm gonna start cooking <laughs> you know and uh and yeah like um uh, mashallah though it's really amazing like how much you persevered and like you know what i'm gonna try to do the next thing and the next thing did you want to get on this show or is this something just kind of popped up on you it it I, i've always wanted to be on this show but you know uh when you're sitting and watching something on tv you never imagine that you're gonna be there right and or like how am i gonna be on tv it's, yeah. it's just it's not a thought that comes to your mind and you're like oh i can do this and what was the first thing that kind of had you like cook as a challenge or competition uh competition i never actually like by the time i applied to master chef i've only been cooking for two years and wow. not two years professionally it's like mm -hmm. at least one year of me messing up stuff mm -hmm. and i'm like mm -mm, good yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and, and another year of me trying stuff and techniques and learning from my mom's and grandma's recipes and and just trying uh, different things to impress ahmed and and uh and enjoy my time because mm -hmm. i was very bored and uh i wanted to to still have my engineering engineering identity there mm -hmm. so i was trying different techniques to make up for my inexperience mm -hmm. right and it, that helped me like you know balancing flavors or using temperature to make the cook Oh, go right. perfect and and te different techniques in, in in cooking to 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 help for for my you know my lack of experience yeah it's only been a year because right? uh, and the thing is is that for me i can i can i, I can uh, i can commiserate with on that fact that like engineering teaches you how to learn other things exactly right so you you put you put down your engineering framework and you put it towards cooking i did it for photography and i did it for this podcast as well it's just the the it, it 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 builds a how do we say it? like a sort of like a contentment in learning yeah. because you because you're following the same procedure that you already knew how to do it's kind of like in your brain so now you're just applying it to something new and yeah. so learning i don't know if any every all engineers think this way but i would rather just learn for the rest of my life than than just pick one thing to be proficient at exactly. if i could just learn a bunch of things all the time just constantly gathering information it makes me the happiest yeah. right and it's probably the reason why it's like like it's such a shift i mean like when people talk to you be like engineer now i'm a cook right it's, for them it's 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 like this huge jump between the two but for us as it's engineers really, it's like no it, it doesn't yeah, seem like it, it at all it just makes you. sense yeah absolutely yeah. that's that, that's awesome but the thing is is that like i mean what's also amazing with all of this is the fact that like not only did you want to go and you know you started 
really picking up cooking. But then, you know, when you applied for Master Chef, understanding that you would be on TV, you would、mm-hmm. be that's national TV. A lot of people watch that. It's a it's a huge thing. That didn't that didn't、uh, like make you stop for a、Scare、moment.、Me? Yeah. yeah, it did. It did, and and especially our our community is very judgmental. <clears throat> and、uh, I was I was kind of you know being in the middle of being judged from our community and people who don't like our community,、mm-hmm. and I was scared of that. You know, drama and and、uh, people because you're on TV, you're you're you, you're raw, and、mm-hmm. people are just watching every single because you're not acting,、yeah. you're、mm-hmm. just being yourself. I'm like, okay, that's an idea. Just be yourself, right? And whether they like it or not,、yeah. what else can you do? And、uh, and basically, how how I applied is I was just sitting and watching Master Chef, and Ahmed came in, and he's like, oh, that's an egg challenge. They usually do the egg challenge at some point、mm-hmm. to. Perfect, like cooking eggs. And it's like that. That looks easy. I think you can do that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I can do that. He's like, I wonder if they would accept you if you applied. I'm like, are you challenging me? Because <laughs> I, I can't. I think they would love to have me on the show. Yeah. And I, I think at the, at that point, I just opened my phone and I went online. Dang. And、uh, they should challenge you to win a million dollars. Something. <laughs>、yeah. Like she's like, oh yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> exactly. And they're actually the open for auditions and.、Uh, I just went in and I filled the application, and the last thing was、uh, was submitting a video.、Mm-hmm. They're like submit a video about yourself,、mm-hmm. and、uh, it, I it, I kind of like, you know,、uh, went、uh, like I don't know what video or what to post, and and went on for three weeks, just me, waiting to do that video, thinking of ideas,、right. what. Should I do to impress them?、Right. And one night, I'm I'm sleeping over at my mom, and it's just something popped. I'm like,、well, I think the deadline is today, <laughs> right? It was two <laughs> a.m. in the morning,、right. and、oh、that was the deadline that day.、Mm-hmm. And I I look and I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm just gonna miss it, and I know I'm gonna regret it if I don't、right. do that. And、uh, I just uploaded a video of like.、Uh, <laughs> a cooking over I had in the Ramadan. I was Ramadan. hoping you'd say like some other hijabi <laughs> cooking, and they couldn't tell the difference. Boom! <laughs> no, no.、Okay. yeah, it was just like a big table of food, Egyptian food, and、uh-huh. and I just posted that it was like me just crawling the food and showing everyone what's on the table,、mm-hmm. and it was that video that that video was from a few months ago. Oh wow! And I uploaded that and I submitted the application, like you know. If they want me, they're call, they're gonna call me. Yeah. <laughs> Bismillah, <laughs>、yeah. and they called me the next day. Oh wow! I was like, oh wow! They actually called Ahmed,、mm-hmm. and uh, Ahmed uh, Ahmed's phone he he was silent and he didn't reply. And then he answered, and they told him,、uh, well, we're from Master Chef, and we're trying to reach your wife. My phone was closed, right?、Yeah. Mm-hmm. And、uh, we can't reach her. Can you please leave her this message? And then. Ahmed came back from work and and we had our normal day and like we're about to sleep at twelve a.m. <laughs> and he's like, oh,、um, there's something I forgot to tell by you. The <laughs> by the way, by the way, Master Chef called me today. I'm like, what? <laughs> How is this not the first thing out of your mouth when you came home? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, and、uh, he told him like, I'm like, how am I gonna sleep now? Seriously, and. He, At least wait till morning to tell me, or not? Don't like when you came, right? Because、mm-hmm. I can't call them at one a.m.、Yeah. Right? And、uh, that time I w- woke up really early and I called them, and、uh, they're like, "Oh, can you come to the auditions? We are actually having the auditions today."、Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Oh, okay. I'll、uh, just roll some cabbage rolls and come、wow. <laughs> over and some shawarma, and yeah, and yeah, I just did that, and I went to the auditions and."、Uh, Uh, basically, how auditions work: you you bring the food with you, and they give you、uh, three minutes to plate your dish.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, they come, they try your dish, they ask a few questions, and and they pick people from there. And that,、oh. that's、Then、how it started. Yeah. yeah. And there were a lot of people there. A lot of people, yeah. Jeez.、Yeah. Right. Like when I went for the seasons,、uh, like as a test tester,、mm-hmm. <laughs> there were、uh, in Toronto itself. There were like around six hundred, seven hundred people. Oh. Okay, so now you're part of the community. They yeah, call you back.、Exactly. They're like, "Hey, coming through." All right, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, I want to I want to shift gears real quick. You said perfect egg.、Mm-hmm. All right, what is your perfect egg? Because we're eating a lot of egg these days,、yeah. especially for sahur, and、uh, I'm getting tired of scrambled and or fried. So or fried.、Yeah. So、uh, boiled egg. 
Okay. Uh, but without the... <laughs> have, you heard, have you heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> you can actually open the egg in water. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. And uh, it can be boiling water, just simmering. Mm -hmm. You put some vinegar, just a little okay. bit of vinegar. Right. And uh, you open the egg slowly in there. And then you kind of give it a stir with a wooden spoon or something uh -huh. so that it, it, it rotates around itself and kind of... You know, becomes so it kind of holds it holds itself exactly. together. If you're okay, and why, why do we why why add the vinegar? So the vinegar kind of uh, adds taste to it, and it keeps it consistent. Okay. And um, what else? What else? And it depends on how soft you want it from the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, I would usually leave it for four minutes if it's if you want it really runny. Yeah. Six minutes, a bit harder. Twelve is for like hard boiled, but right. if you're doing it that way. Uh, and you want to cut the knife through it, and the, For it the egg kind out. of yeah, yeah. flows. We should do a challenge. You send her the video, and yeah. she judges whose is better. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so, let's do it. yeah, that that would be perfect. Okay. And, uh, uh -huh. What's so, that called? Sorry? What would you call that kind of I egg? I actually I forgot. Think, I think so. I haven't I think, isn't it poached? <laughs> yeah, I think it's poached Yeah, exactly, poached, poached eggs. Because yeah, I, exactly. I haven't been cooking for a while right, right, since right. I got pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm hating cooking now. Oh, just, that's yeah, right. You got your, you got, yeah, it smells. Because smells is messing you. Yeah, yeah, I had to quit my job because <laughs> oh. I was working as a private chef, private events. Right, right, right. Wow. Um, so, uh, and then... I'm doing the show. I, like I, I figured a way to make sure I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Stand like a show. I'm a stand. You have a show. I'm a stand at home. I, I, you know, it's it's kind. I got say, say it's gonna come you over. You got a show. I'm a stand at home. Okay, wait. So, I don't have a show. I'm a stand. Okay. I made up a show. I'm a stand. So you know the paper towel holder. Yeah. At Dollarama. Uh huh. That's my show. I'm a stand. That is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. I've tried a few things. I tried having the uh, the onion, the big uh, Spanish onion, as the base, and then mm -hmm. stick. Uh, wooden, right. yeah, and then stack the shawarma. But then when it's cooked, the the, the onion kind of gets soft, and then right. kinds of so like kind of starts yeah, falling over. And yeah, stuff. That so is I'm so like, cool. I also like this just a dollar store like <laughs> yeah. paper towel holder. So it worked. It worked, and That's you can awesome. put whatever amount uh, you want. And um, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just your husband <laughs> turning it slowly for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's actually <laughs> thinking of a way to have it turn in the oven. That's an engineer thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it could work, but it's it's a lot of work. It's a dollar store carousel yeah. that's just sitting in the towel now and just spinning. That's exactly. really cool, though. I love the improvisation. So, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I said. So, what is uh, what's next for you? I mean, uh, obviously, you can't cook right now. You're mm -hmm. you're a little bit on a on a on a sabbatical. Yeah, if you I smell that show. I'm like, ew. Does it, did it always smell like that? <laughs> oh and like, I mean, it smells good. I'm like, I can't, I can't stand it. Right. I literally haven't been cooking for almost five months now. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. But are you? So there's one part that you don't want to do it, but is it? Are you not itching to to get back in? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just. I I know that all all the feelings are gonna go away after I give birth. Mm -hmm. So I'm just thinking in the thinking process, mm -hmm. uh, to catch back up after I uh, I give birth. And uh, one thing that I really wanted to do is uh, cooking vi videos, like mm -hmm. uh, t the taste made videos and and these things. But I I wanted to. Uh, we've always had this issue with our food like whether it's egyptian or like you know mm -hmm. uh asian or any any other food that's really delicious mm -hmm. but you eat it and you go asleep you fall yeah. asleep or you go to the doctor right it's really heavy right why do and, you go to the doctor uh, mm, it's, it's really heavy a lot of <laughs> butter <laughs> <laughs> i mean like you get cholesterol or you right, right. like oh, a I lot see. of people get really, really oh yeah just super unhealthy unhealthy yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like mm -hmm. You know, I had butter chicken last night at the event, oh, man. and I had to take two Zantax, mm -hmm. and I still couldn't breathe. I couldn't, right. so I couldn't have support today Jeez. last night. But yeah, but also uh, it's very hard to stop eating butter chicken as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right when it's there, it's gotta be <laughs> eaten. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Go on. So, uh, um, like uh, I started like turning some of our favorite dishes into a healthier version mm -hmm. and uh, making them into easy steps and videos that people can follow. Uh, I had the, the kunefa mango Nutella cheesecake as well with the least ingredients possible. I do it with two eggs only. Okay. And uh, I'm making it today for an event tomorrow. Uh -huh. Um, she said she doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. That's baking. Totally different. That doesn't different. Even count. That's not even cooking. That's just... Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah. Good. It's, it's to her, that's same, like a microwave. Right? <laughs> that's not even big cooking. It's just in there. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm trying to minimize the uh, the cost, the the, the health, yeah. like make it more healthy, uh, things like that through videos. Okay. And um, doing like private events. The big, big dream is having my own restaurant one day, inshallah. Inshallah. Right. And, uh, but right now at the moment with like kids growing up, mm-hmm. coming in the way. <laughs> and uh, I mean like, waiting for them to come All right. or not them just one but you know yeah. waiting for him or her I'm not gonna say right. and uh <laughs> yeah it's it's just hard because uh, especially at the beginning any startup it's it's tough you're 24 yeah. 7 mm-hmm. committed and and you can't really uh afford having to, people work for you you have to start yourself with your family or your friends and and it takes a l- lot of time to make it successful and i think when your kids are that young it's hard to to leave them and sure. and just go out there so at the moment i'm kind of you know prior prioritizing my family now mm-hmm, and inshallah like it's not it's not a stop it's just a break right to to come back stronger inshallah and sure. with more um you know with more what creativity yeah. or <laughs> some, some new ideas yeah. it seems like you're right now since and energy as well yeah, yeah. You need okay that. Oh, mashallah. i think yeah. it's also Go Sorry, ahead. no, no, I was just saying there's also a tool set that you're exactly. slowly building over time, right? So like, you know, you went to Master Chef, you learn what pressure was, you learn what, what it is to do that in the public in, in, yeah. in the pl- public domain. And then as a result of that, you understand postpartum so- exactly. something about yourself. You understand where they're not okay. If I feel this way, then I can I can go see a therapist. I can like you're just building a tool set exactly, so that yeah. inshallah one at one point when it comes down when it comes to the point of like, all right, now it's time for the restaurant, mm-hmm. you're gonna go in there like well equipped or better equipped than you would if you exactly. just jumped in right like now. Like I need to have the mentality to uh, to bear what's going to happen because having a restaurant is a big deal and I, I need to have the mental and physical ability to to be able to, you know, contain that. Sure. And right now, like my, my focus is, is on my mental health mm-hmm. and seeking help. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually had like had a few appointments with my therapist and it helped me a lot to figure out, you know, my th- thinking process what's really bothering me and basically it's <laughs> engineering really did some really bad damage <laughs> and it's always that thought of being the best or wanting more mm-hmm. expecting more and nothing is enough for you to right. appreciate yourself like people might look at you and feel like <clears throat> well you've, you're doing great right yeah. but it's it, the most important thing is how you're looking at yourself mm-hmm. and how you're appreciating yourself mm-hmm. uh and i have a problem with that mm-hmm. so i need to fix that that problem first and right. appreciate myself appreciate my efforts and appreciate my success because your your reflection to people of what you're feeling from the inside mm-hmm. and i think it's important to work on yourself before wanting to contribute to the community for sure mm-hmm. um I, I you know so you can attest to this too but like how we speak to ourselves in our brain is is very important because mm-hmm. it kind of like you, you know imagine if you woke up in the morning and the first thing you had was your friend or someone just telling me like hey you didn't do good yesterday. Mm-hmm. You got to do better today. Exactly. Come on, man. If you woke up with that on an immediate thing when someone was telling you that, it would set the tone of your day to be com- really, really not yeah. that great. Mm-hmm. It would be so- a sorrowful day. Exactly. So the thing is, is that like if you're waking up and the only voice that you hear is your own and your own is putting you down or not not speaking to you with some level of kindness, yeah. like you're setting yourself up to be unhappy for the rest of the day. I mean, this is, it's been a hard thing for me too. Like sometimes... Uh, you know, I'll catch myself like, ah, you idiot. And you're like, wait, no. Right. If I'm going to talk to myself like this, Not like, good enough. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like other people are already thinking this, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You know, they're already trying to put you down. So, you know, you gotta, it's very, it, but it's not easy to do. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's been a constant thing. Like I, I learned this t- thing like two years ago, yeah. still every once in a while, you're usually like, catching yourself. So I can, I can imagine that. Yeah. But like, Alhamdulillah for you. I mean, like you know, especially because of the fact that a lot of people look to you now, right? Mm-hmm. Because like you've got a you got a platform. A lot of people know who you are, and then for you to openly talk about these things is good because then you know it, it'll just shorten the amount of time it takes for people to ultimately find help, mm-hmm. right? Because if they hear someone else that is that's cool, she's a badass. She went on Master Chef. She did this. She did that. And look, she's doing it. 
Mm-hmm. So then it reduces the stigma. The, the stigma, thank you. It reduces yeah. the stigma for someone else to do it. So maybe it took you a year and a year and a half for you to search for help. Someone else l- listens and, and sees what you're doing. Six months, mm-hmm. three months, right? And then as a whole, becomes like a more healthy yeah. community as a result. Because social media is... is, is on its on its own it's it's, it's a lot of stress mm-hmm. on a lot of people because sure. people always try to be their best and and show that beautiful side of their lives and uh and other people who are looking up to them when they see that this is this is all that's happening everyone is happy then mm-hmm. then why this is happening to me and they start comparing and feeling more depressed so uh that's why i talk i i, I took a long pause uh, and uh, I haven't been posting a lot. I haven't been doing a lot on social media. Even, even when I have interviews, I don't post them. Mm-hmm. I just feel like, you know, I'm I'm not ready to share this now. Right. Mm. I feel like I need to heal first before sharing it out there. And, um, and I feel like you need to be real because you could get really, really lost out there and not be yourself mm-hmm. and be really fake. Right. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people for, fall for that, fall for the fame, for fall for the followers, and uh, people start uh, judging you or or uh, judging your contributions by the amount of followers you have. Mm-hmm. And it's a very, very dangerous zone that if you fall to it, you're going to be really, really disappointed in yourself. Mm-hmm. So uh, realizing that social media is not everything mm-hmm. is important. And I gave that pause to myself to tell myself, well, Reem, this is your life out there, the real life. Mm. Make sure you're satisfied with that before looking at your Instagram, for example, or your the number of followers you have or these things. Because right. there was a period of time I was just there, you know, looking at the followers. It was like every day that they increased, that they <laughs> increased, and then it was driving me crazy. And, uh, and also, like, people reaching out to you they also look at your followers Mm -hmm. and for for contributions for projects uh of course when master chef first came out a lot of people reach out to me and they're like we want to do stuff together and then you know when the hype goes down they're like oh how many followers does she have now and then right not interested anymore or whatever yeah so they would rather have someone with like i don't know 20k followers Mm -hmm. to do their advertising for example Mm -hmm, and for me i found that really fake and insulting Mm -hmm. and i'm like you know i don't want to be in this environment for now and uh, i need to be ready Mm -hmm. first before going out there and facing that you know for sure yeah well i mean you know first of all we're honored that you came on the podcast to talk about this and be real i mean you know (laughs) so that's that's awesome um and the thing is is that like um you know based on what we've already seen we're looking forward to you know, take your time, do, you know, take your healing and, and, and like put that in priority. But like, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the videos. We're looking mm-hmm. forward to all that. And I feel like, inshallah, I mean, like now as a result of, you know, we're slowly moving away from, hey, uh, you are my child. You must become a doctor, engineer or a lawyer. We're mm-hmm. slowly moving away from that. Yep. And so like, you know, the new generation now, they might be more people who will be like part of your community of like they want to be cooks so they want to mm-hmm. they want to so like when you're starting these projects inshallah moving forward whether or not is it's um it's uh you know um videos for cooking or you know slowly if that moves into i don't know a food truck that moves into a restaurant that mm-hmm. whatever the case may be inshallah i mean like we have a community now exactly. that's that's gonna that's gonna be able to help build that together so we're inshallah. we're definitely looking forward to see how that how that inshallah. how that develops inshallah yeah. that's amazing and what kind of restaurant is it in your head right now that you're building like down the line inshallah and whenever it happens mm-hmm. what does it look like right now what's the vibe of it? what kind of food is it Okay, there, there, there is the small version, then there is the huge, huge, really far <laughs> version. Uh, so uh, the small one, just having like a cozy place for everyone to enjoy. Uh, I don't like. Yes, it's Egyptian food, but at the same time, it's everyone's food. I, I don't want it to be just for Egyptians. It's mm-hmm. for everyone, and I want to introduce the flavors to, mm. to especially downtown Toronto, uh, when you think about Middle Eastern food, it's either shawarma or falafel. Or mahas on the West End. That, yeah, I'm very proud of mahas. Yeah, that like, was, that's a good place. She's my hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, yeah. So mahas is the Egyptian breakfast slash brunch. Yeah. And it's packed. Exactly. I've never been there and hadn't had to. I had to, Once I was lined up outside 
And the guy came in. He's like, we only have tables for fours. And <laughs> me and my wife and the two people we didn't know. Do you guys want to come in? We literally were like, you guys want to? Yeah. That's Our, a good we one. all ate together. We don't even know each other. We, just didn't, we said hello at the beginning. We're like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And then we were like, all right. <laughs> I'm just going to eat with my yep, wife. us here. But that place there. is amazing. It's it a good is, place. Anyways, is. not to interrupt. So exactly. See, you, like. It's not a huge place. It's nothing like, you know, very spectacular mm -hmm. as in like, but Fancy it's very yeah. cozy, yeah. very homey. And the food is amazing. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. And uh, I think that's what I want to bring from the end of like the rest of the cuisine. There's much more there. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring that to, you know, uh, Toronto mm -hmm. and... Uh, it's not going to be easy because there's a lot of rolling, a lot of stuffing, but... <laughs> this, this is why I said we're going to have these kids. Yeah, these exactly. kids who are not becoming engineers yeah. and they're not becoming doctors. Yeah. We're going to call them, up, call them yeah. up. They're going to be rolling. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the bigger version is the, the pyramid. And basically, Whoa. I want to bring that... <laughs> Like a pyramid the scheme? Small, I think Yassine's already small, on board with small, that. <laughs> the, the, the small one is just a small little cozy place. The other one is, is literally a pyramid. A pyramid. <laughs> it's actually a pyramid from the outside. I yeah. Okay, guys are listening to this. Don't steal my idea. But uh, <laughs> no yeah. one's gonna, If I go to Toronto next month, there's a pyramid. Yeah. We'll all know. Oh, they took Kareem's <laughs> they took, idea. They took the pyramid idea. Yeah. But go ahead, please. Yes, I want... <laughs> I want the restaurant to look as like a pyramid from the outside mm -hmm. and people can climb it. And then oh. from the inside, you can have a part of Egypt with you, mm -hmm. oh. like with all, not just the food, the, the vibe, the, the, uh, the decor, mm. the, the things you can buy when you go to Egypt. I want to bring all this here. Mm. And because um, like usually, yes, you, you, you're Canadian now, you live here, you love here. And if you go back home, you love it there, but you also want to come back here, mm -hmm. but you want that taste of mm -hmm. back home. Yeah. And uh, I just want to bring this here for people to love and enjoy and experience. That's Excellent. amazing. Awesome. Well, um, who, where, where can people follow you right now? Instagram. Instagram right now? <laughs> yeah. Instagram. What's, uh, your, what's your handle? Reem Ahmed. Nine one. Oh wait, wait. No, Reem Ahmed underscore nine one. Because there was no Reem Ahmed only available, okay. so I had to <laughs> improvise. Right. Eventually, yeah. I mean, we buy them out. You get a the blue check mark. Yeah, it's it's all in the, it's all in the next step. Pyramid. Yeah, pyramid. <laughs> if you see a pyramid oh. out there, it's either me or someone stole my idea. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Definitely looking forward to what's coming in the future. We like super excited Inshallah. Right, thanks, thanks for hanging with us all right people uh thank you for listening to the podcast take care of yourselves we'll be back in a week good night